Hello and thanks for watching the Data Digest. In today's video I will show you the easiest way to reorder a factor to turn an unsorted graph like this into an ordered one like this, like this or even like this. I will go over the stats reorder function that comes with base R and the FCT reorder function from the 4cats package. And at the end I will show you how to make use of the reorder within function that can sort graphs for many different variables all at once. Let's get started with the R code. The problem is clear. You have a dataset like empty cars with values you want to visualize. And here I created an extra column called model because the car name is stored in the row names of this original dataset. And for plotting it's better to have it in a separate column. But when you pipe it into ggplot and you specify the variables you want to plot, in this case miles per gallon on the x-axis and the model on the y-axis, and you add geomcall to create a bar chart, by default ggplot will sort the models alphabetically from AMC to Volvo. And even if you arrange the dataset before plotting and sort the data by increasing mileage, the results stay the same because the model column is a character variable which will be turned into a factor that is ordered alphabetically again. With str empty cars you get a structure of your data frame and you see that the model is a character vector. Here is how you can fix this. After the arrange step simply add a mutate to turn model names into a factor with the current order of car models as the levels of the factor. So when I save this data frame that I can still access with last value as empty cars FCT I now see that model is a factor with 32 different levels and the first level being the Cadillac Fleetwood, which has the smallest mileage of all the cars. If we index the model column of the data frame directly, we see more than the first level and we can also use the levels function to get all the different levels in the right order. So with the simple in-between step, we can reorder the plot from smallest to biggest mileage. If you want to reverse the order, you can simply add a minus in the arrange step or you can use the descending function dests before the variable. The great thing about this trick is that you can easily order your data frame by more than one variable. So now AM refers to automatic or manual gear shift and now the mileage is first sorted for all the cars that have automatic shift with increasing values and then it starts ordering again for manual cars with smallest to biggest mileage. If we now create the factors after sorting the data frame like this, we can see that they come out ordered but based on another variable and it's better to feed in the AM information as a separate factor and not as numerical values. Now the order of the legend is a bit messed up, so if you want to plot the automatic cars first, simply add a minus again in the range and now the legend fits the pattern. Speaking of the legend, as we used the AM variable with the fill argument, coloring the bars in different colors, if you want to relabel the legend, you have to use the labs function and then specify fill with the name you want to give the legend. In this case, we call it automatic or manual gear shift with line breaks. If you don't want to use the plier functions like arrange or mutate, you can also accomplish the same thing with the base R order function. The order function tells you which row of the dataset you would have to take in which order to accomplish a sorted data frame. So number 15 and 16 would have to be first, which in this case is the Cadillac Fleetwood and the Lincoln Continental, which we know are the cars with the lowest mileage. This order vector can be used for indexing or rearranging the data frame. You know data frames can be rearranged or indexed with square brackets where you first start with the row numbers which in this case comes from this and then we want to keep all the columns and now we get a resorted data frame like this with the ref function you can reverse the order so it's simply the vector from before but now from end to start you can also still order by multiple variables and now this would be the order starting with all the automatic cars first sorted by mileage and then the manual ones following and if we now save the rearranged data frame as empty cars base and now turn the model column into a new factor based on the current order in the levels argument, 
we can plot it again and get the sorted pattern as before. So now after this cool trick where you rearrange and mutate the column as a newly ordered factor, I want to talk about the reorder function that comes with base R, so it's part of the stats package. And this is similar to relevel, a special case of simply calling the factor function, what we already did. So if we want to change the order and levels of the model column, we can use the reorder function that asks for x, which is an atomic vector that we want to reorder, which is of course the model column. And then it asks for capital X, which is a vector of the same length that will be the basis of the order, in this case the miles per gallon. If you want to save a little bit of space you can use the width function where you hand over the data frame and then you don't have to index this twice in the reorder function because now it knows that there's going to be a model column with empty cars and a miles per gallon column. And if you run either of these lines of code you will be able to plot empty cars again in the ordered fashion. Now the FCT reorder function is even more convenient, you have to load the 4cat library. And what it basically does is it makes the arrange step obsolete and it also simplifies the mutate step. Because now instead of sorting the data frame and then reassigning the model with different levels to the current order, you can replace this by a call to the FCT reorder function and tell it to reorder model based on miles per gallon. This function comes with an extra argument called descending, which by default is false, but if you set it to true, it reorders the graph from bottom to top with descending mileage. An alternative to using the des argument is simply to put a minus in front of mpg. If you're really lazy and want to save some lines of code, you can get rid of the mutate step altogether and simply do the fct reorder directly in the ggplot function and then it will reorder it directly in here. Lastly I want to show you how to reorder the models for different categories all at once to have it look like this. However before we can do this we have to turn the empty cars data set from a wide format into a long format otherwise we cannot make use of the facet wrap function. As always there are multiple ways to accomplish this for example you could use the gather function where you say that you want to gather all the different columns except the model column and turn the column name into category and all the different values into values. Which means that now for each car we have the values from the first column, the miles per gallon, followed by the cylinders for each car and then the displacement. If we know that we only want to plot four columns, it would make sense that before the gathering we only select these four different columns, or if we perform gather on all columns we can afterwards filter, but only the category we are interested in. A function that does the same thing is the pivot longer function, where similar to gather you hand over a data frame, and now it's a bit more intuitive what's going on, you know the names too, means all the columns will be collected in this column, called now category, and the values to will be value and the columns to turn into a longer format are all the columns except model. Either way now you have a long data frame where you filter for the relevant columns and then group by category and use the top n function to select top 10 cars of each of the different categories. So the cars with the biggest mileage, the biggest engine displacement, horsepower and the heaviest weight. We have to turn the category into a factor to make facet wrap work and after that we fill by category to have different colors. We put model on the x-axis and value on the y-axis but then flip this with corded flip and we have to set the scales to free. We don't need labels for the x and y column and we can set title and subtitle. If we don't use scales equals free you would see now that all of the cars that are in either of the top 10 will be repeated and if we would only use free y then we would get a good ordering of the cars but now the x-axis is frozen and it doesn't make sense for weight and mileage that is on a whole different numeric range than the displacement and the horsepower. So simply set all the axes to free and now the only thing we have to worry about is how to reorder this and what we have to do is put one more argument into the mutate with model reorder within and this now asks for three different values we want to order the model by the value and here now it gets important the within equals the category. That's already pretty good. We just see that there's one issue now appearing and this can be fixed by adding one more function called scale x reordered 
which cleans up the text. Guess that's why it's from the package called tidy text. I think these were some pretty cool functions to use when you want to reorder your graphs quickly. Keep the cool trick in mind from the beginning where you have maximum control over how you want to arrange your data frame and then simply reassign the levels to the new factor and you're good to go. If you found this tutorial helpful, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and see you next time here at the Data Digest.